Good morning everybody. I hope you enjoyed finding out a little bit about Chinese New Year. Oh look, that's fallen out already. A bit more about Chinese New Year. And today I thought it might be quite a nice idea if you could have a go at making some of the things that they use to celebrate Chinese New Year. Now we had got a lantern there. Now I will put out on the internet for you, I'll put it on the website, uh, an easy way to make your own lantern okay and it's not too hard but it just involves a little bit of paper cutting and a little bit of a managing to attach the handle on but it's not too tricky so you should be able to have fun with that one but I also thought you might like to possibly see if you could oh I'm just looking to see if we've got a fan in here I can't quite see one but I've got one in my hand so it's not a problem look I've got a fan now lots of people try and make a fan using some lollipop sticks with something over it but you can do it actually with a paper plate cut a paper plate in half and get a lollipop stick as your handle or you can do the good old-fashioned way of getting a piece of paper and getting your grown-up to help you doing some folding over first one way then another then turn it over turn it back like that and keep going all the way until you've got a really ziggy zaggy piece of paper it's quite tricky this so you might need some of your grown-ups some of your big brothers and sisters maybe if you've got them or the grown-up that's looking after you now yesterday i said that one color was lucky in china and can you remember what it was it was red so perhaps i might do a red fan. Does this look like a fan yet? No, it doesn't. But if I turn that round to make a little bit of a handle and open it out, it makes a bit more of a fan shape. Now, if you do the paper the other way, it makes it even wider, but it makes it a little bit more fiddly too. So you could make a fan. Look, oh, it's not far off. It's the right sort of shape. So you can do that. Maybe you could do some red decorations on it. Maybe you could do your own version of Chinese writing, like up here. And that's very, very squiggly. Some of you are good at squiggly writing. So perhaps you could go have a go at doing some Chinese writing on your fan. Oh, look, back to being a shape. Can you remember what shape that is? It's a uh, two long sides, two short sides. It's a rectangle. So perhaps you could have a go at making a fan and a uh, hunter. You don't have to do both. You might decide which one you like doing. You might want to put your own Chinese writing on it. Okay, so have a go doing those. And I'd love to see the pictures of them, please. So have fun and enjoy doing all these lovely Chinese New Year things. And I shall see you tomorrow when actually we're going to be talking about another form of celebration. But this time it's to do with pancakes. Okay. Bye.